I'm back so I'm going to start with my morning routine and right now my face is ashy because I showered and I haven't done anything to my face so what I'm gonna do is wet my face first and I'm also going to use one of my exfoliating brushes let me just show you so this set is from vanity planet and they have like different brushes available um i got this ages ago and it comes with a brush this is the the black one is like for strong exfoliation they've got a plastic one for more sensitive skin and they've got a soft bristle brush and um they normally have like ambassadors doing like a 70 percent discount so if you just like google it you'll probably find the discount code and you'll save yourself some money. So it probably comes to about like 30 pounds for a set. And I've had this for ages. It's battery powered as well. It's really great. So I advise that you get that. So I'm just gonna wet my face, wet my brush as well. And I'm gonna come back to show you what I use. Okay. So the first item that I use is from Mario Badescu and it's the enzyme cleansing gel. Um, I use this for the morning because it gives you like a really refreshing feel it just like strips any impurities on your skin and it just leaves me feeling fresh but not stripped so like you know when you get that dry feeling after you wash your face it doesn't give you that it feels very moisturized so I just squeeze a bit on my brush and after that um, you just press the button exfoliate your skin you move it around your face and yeah. Okay, so once I'm done rinsing my face, I either like to use a paper towel or you can use a flannel, a face cloth. Um, don't ever use your towel, it's just makes about like bacteria, you use it on different body parts, you don't want to put it on your face. So I just get a paper towel and I just pat my skin dry. Once that's done, I like to go in with a toner. So what I currently use is a Pixi Glow Tonic Toner. And this contains glycolic acid. I can't exactly remember what it does, but it's really good for your skin, especially if you're oily. I'm a very oily person, so I think it helps with like clearing out the impurities and just helping with your pores. So it's got 5% glycolic acids. Um, before you use any acid on your skin, make sure like, you test it out first. So this is what works for me. So if it doesn't work for you, don't come for me. It's what works for me. Find something that works for you. So if it means that it's a smaller percentage of glycolic acid, then go for it. But this is 5%, so depending on how sensitive your skin is, it might not react the same way as mine. So I just use this with a cotton pad and I just place it all over my skin. Okay, so the next step is moisturizing your skin. You wanna rehydrate your skin, get that glow, make sure you know you give your skin its nutrients that you just washed away. Um, so what I like to use is a variation. I'm a like I'm a product junkie. I love like skincare, so I've got loads to choose from. So if it's a thing where I'm gonna wear makeup and I need to use SPF, I use Urban Skin Melanin Experts. Um, sun protection mattifying moisturizer and this has um, SPF of 30 really good it leaves your skin nice and matte afterwards and then you can just go in with your makeup um, another one that I may use is nip and fads post glycolic fix moisturizer this is really good as well SPF 30 it does leave you a bit blue so does the other one but it's really good and it's very affordable you can find this in boots and super drugs when I'm on holiday and it's really hot, I like to use a Soliat 50 SPF um, anti-aging face fluid. It's really good and it doesn't leave me too blue as well. Obviously it's blue on my skin tone. If you're of fairer skin, then it wouldn't be the case for you. But I like to use that as well. But today I'll show you my top two faves. And um, I like to go in, well, I'm not going out today but even if you're not going out, you should use um, SPF. 
So I'm gonna go in with my um, mattifying one and just dot it around my face. And when you're massaging it into your skin, always push up, lift your face. And I'm not putting this in my eye area because normally I would put my eye cream there, which I can't find at the moment, but no worries. So depending on whether I'm oily, feeling dry, or if I just want to glow, I have three main go-tos. So I like to use La Mer, um, this is their moisturising cream. I'm going to say it is expensive, I know, but it's actually worth it. And um, I use this on days where I just want to feel a lot more, you know, moisturised, but not too heavy, not too glowy. I just need like a good moisturiser. I'd use this. I use this once in a while because I think this is, I think it's 150 or 250 for this, I know. But it's so good. So if you can afford it, definitely get one of their products. Their products are amazing. I love this. For the days where I don't feel like I want to have like an oily face and I need something light but very moisturising, I use my Eucerin Dermo Purifier Oil Control. This is really good. It's a really light finish and it's really great. And um, if you suffer from like acne or anything like that, this brand, they've got a, an amazing range. You will actually love it. So, but my favourite is my Oli Henriksen C Rush Brightening Gel Cream. This is amazing. Look, it's nearly done. I use this all the time. It's so good. And um, I like to put this on top of my SPF that I just used. And um, yeah, I just find it really nice. Um, it has vitamin C which helps with like brightening your face if you suffer from like blemishes or really like dull skin this is the one for you so for the evening when I come back and I've got like makeup on I just use simple wipes um, well they're actually from Superdrug but they're um, for combination skin. If you've got sensitive skin, then buy the ones for sensitive. You know, just um, use what works for you. I use wipes and then I also like to go in with a cotton pad and I use Neutrogena's Hydro Boost Cleanser. And I use this to just take off the extra, you know, sometimes you're left with makeup still on your face. So I like to use this. Some people don't wash their face after they've gone out. That's fine, do your thing. But if I am washing my face, I like to use La Roche Posay. Um, their gel is so good. It's like a cleansing gel and it really, it strips everything from your face, but it's not drying. So that's why I love it so much. It's nearly finished. Um, you can find this in Boots. Their range is amazing. I'd advise you to buy it. But especially after wearing makeup, this really gets your skin very clean i use it along with my exfoliating brush perfect um one thing i like to do is that i like to treat my skin at home so you won't always have money available to you know get a facial done that's fine so why not bring it in your household so i have this pmd microdermabrasion kind of like instrument and it does amazing things to my skin so this is what it looks like and it's got a little exfoliating tip and literally you switch it on and then you drag it across your skin and it's just like a suction motion and it's best to do this after you've washed your face your, your skin is clean and it just removes all the dead skin cells you know it helps even out your skin tone as well it's just a really good exfoliator that you can do at home like professionals use this but obviously a much stronger one but this is amazing I actually don't use it often and I really should but this is really good and um, yeah definitely you should invest in one once I finish using my PMD microdermabrasion kit I like to go in with my La Roche Posay toner this is really great if you have oily skin acne prone even if you're not it's really good and it 
gets rid of the dirt. Trust me, once you use the PMD and you take this toner and wipe off your skin, you're gonna see how much dirt was still left after washing your face. It's actually crazy. But it just shows how much dirt is still, you know, left on your skin after washing it. So this toner, look, I've nearly finished it. It's so good. So depending if it's winter, summer, or if my skin feels dry, you just have to tell or notice what your skin needs. And for the evening, if I know that I've worn makeup and I know I'm gonna wear a lot of makeup the next day, I like to use this Knit Fab Glycolic Fix Overnight Purifying Gel. If you just place this everywhere, avoiding your eyes of course, literally you wake up the next morning, your skin just feels like okay, like it's ready for another day, like it's good. It just, it leaves it very glowy and I like that, I like to feel like I'm, my skin's getting nutrients whilst I'm sleeping. I think that's really great. On different days, I like to use my Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate or my Oli Henriksen Glow Cycle and this contains retinol. Retinol can be quite strong on your skin but for me, I'm able to use it. So definitely do a test first and um, see if you can, if your skin likes it and then you can continue using it. And yeah, I like to use these two. Um, I like to use one or the other. I don't use both because they both are treatments and serums. But this one, like, look, I've nearly finished it. Like, it's so good. It's from Kiehl's. It's really affordable. It's a good investment. It is, I think, £38, but it's so good. You literally apply some drops over your face and you massage it in. It just leaves your skin, when you wake up the next morning, you have that glow. Like, your skin's just like, oh my god, I needed this. It's a beautiful treatment. I love it. With the Oli Henriksen, it's a similar sensation, but it's not as glowy. So, I would rather use the Kiehl's. That's why it's almost finished. Some days where my skin feels a bit rough or I'm having a bit of a breakout, I like to use this La Roche Posay. Um, it's like an oily skin renovating kind of care cream. It's really good, it's very simple and it's inexpensive so definitely get this. So um, the face masks I use are all from L'Oreal and um, you can use like a detox mask. I use this like on a day that I've like probably worn a lot of makeup use this if I want a bit of a glow like during winter I use the glow mask and then they also have this blemish rescue mask and it's okay I don't think it does much but you should also get this as well if you feel like you've got a lot of blemishes and yeah those are my masks so for my body I always like to exfoliate my skin daily so I always go in with a hand scrub you can use whatever you use that's fine but just make sure you exfoliate your skin rubbing your body with your hands isn't sufficient so get you one of these it's inexpensive and it does the job when i come out of the shower always moisturize cream your body is important um, when it's winter i like to use this nivea rich nourishing moisturizing cream this is so good, like it's perfect for just hydration. Even if your skin isn't too dry, it just it just leaves your skin feeling so good. I love, love, love using this. During summer, it might be too hot to use the Nivea cream. So there's a cream from Superdrug that I really love. I couldn't find it, I, didn't, I wanted to buy it but I couldn't find it. But they have this really good um, body um, moisturizer. It's perfect for the summer, it isn't too heavy and I never sweat in it when I use it during summer. So definitely go to Super Drugs and try and find it. So for my hands, I like to use um, Laura Mercier Body and Bath, um, one of their body souffles. This is so good. It is 50 pound, but it smells amazing. Like, <sighs> this is the Ambre Vanille. It's so good. There's so many different scents. And I just use this, you know, before I leave. Or for example, if you have like an event and you've, you know, come out of the shower and you really want to smell good, you can use one of these creams and it just leaves your skin feeling so nice. And then add your little scent on top. It's perfect. 
absolutely perfect and yeah I feel like sometimes you have to go a bit luxurious you know and just go that extra mile and make a nice impression why not and to finish for my lips I use Carmex why not I don't like Vaseline I don't feel like it does the job it's not for me and um, Carmex just does it so I hope you've enjoyed my skincare routine if you have any questions link them down below and yeah i'll see you next time